Hello. In this video, I will show you how to calculate the lashing requirements to secure the cargo during transportation. Lashing is the process of securing cargo for transport with the aim of minimizing movement during transit. Ropes, cables, wires, and strapping are utilized for securing cargo. To reduce sliding and tipping forces, adequate cargo restraint measures must be used, and the driver must be able to secure the lashings during transit. Example Calculate the required lashing for 30 ton concrete cargo. With length of 5 meter, width of 2.5 meter and height is 4 meter. We consider the trailer speed is 50 km per hour and braking time is 3 second. Using prime mover with ballast counterweight and 6 axle line multi axle trailer to pull the cargo. To able to calculate the required lashing. We need to find this forces acting on the cargo during transportation. Acceleration force, wind force, curve force during turning and gradient force or slope on the along the transportation route. First, calculate the acceleration force. Convert the velocity to meter per second. To get the acceleration force, divide the velocity to braking time. Next, calculate the inertia. Weight of the cargo multiplied by acceleration force divided by gravity. This is Beaufort wind scale table. For this calculation, I consider the wind velocity is categorized to strong breeze. This is shape drag coefficient. Based on the shape of the cargo, Select the corresponding coefficient value on the table. Calculate the surface area exposed to the wind, during transportation at longitudinal and transverse direction. For easy calculation, I consider the surface area of the cargo to rectangular shape. After getting the surface area of the cargo that exposed to the wind. Start to calculate the wind force at longitudinal and transverse direction. Base on the table at Beaufort wind scale strong breeze. Wind pressure value is 11.8 kg per meter square. Multiply it to shape coefficient and surface area. Next, calculate the acceleration force at curve. During turning, I consider the truck decelerate to 25 km per hour. To get the acceleration force, divided the truck velocity squared to turning radius. After getting acceleration, substitute the value to formula weight of cargo multiply by acceleration at turning divided by gravity to get the curve force calculate the gradient force Along the transportation route, I consider there is a 5 degree slope longitudinal and 2 degree transverse. This is coefficient of friction between cargo and trailer. Base on the table. Concrete to steel friction coefficient is 0.45.
Calculate the maximum friction force for longitudinal and transverse direction. Multiply the coefficient of friction to weight of the cargo and gradient slope on the road. Next. Calculate the total weight of transporter. Number of axle line multiply by weight per axle line. And add the prime mover weight with ballast counterweight. Now, calculate the horizontal and vertical securing required. Start to add the force value for longitudinal and transverse direction. See the below calculation. Base on this minimum lashing force required. You can plan the number of lashing you can put on your cargo to secured. Still depend to your lashing gear capacity for the quantity you will put. <laughs> 